Zrifte po. Rok po rok? Tyrn po rok. So this is a new uh, tone print for the Spectre Drive pedal, for the tube drive section. It's, um, I, I have experienced sometimes when playing bass and turning up the gain on pedals or even on some of our own uh, tone prints. If you play with a active bass maybe and you have a 4x10 cabinet, maybe with a tweeter, you have a lot of high frequency uh, available. Mm. And if you have a powerful amplifier that doesn't sort of, if you have an old tube amp, maybe if you want to play loud, it starts sort of compressing and stuff and you don't get maybe all the high frequency through. But if you have a modern amplifier and or you have a, a modern cabinet or whatever, you get a lot of high fr frequency. So with this tone print we've tried to, as we roll up the gain, we have a low pass filter that cuts away more and more of the high frequency. So it sort of maintains that low gain sound that's sort of maybe dark and a little bit muffled even if you crank the gain all the way up. So, let me try to um, see if I can show you what I mean. So this is the... This is just the... This is just the... Let me start with the low gain setting. Here, we start with the low gain setting. I compensate a little bit. Um, Yeah. It being dark. Yeah, it's a little here. bit dark. Yeah. There's not a lot of drive. So what we did is, even if we crank up the gain, let me try to do that. I crank up the gain. I just compensate a little bit on the level and the tube drive. Now it's pretty much it's pretty much all the way up. A little bit loud. A little bit loud in here. Down with the level. Yeah. So it sort of maintains that low yeah. end. It doesn't rip your ears like no, uh, like the, some of the uh, more like uh, the fuzzy kind of uh, tone prints that yeah. we have. But so. uh, where, whereas this is more like it's more mellow. Uh, yeah, it still is. Still, when when you even if even if it's it's quite distorted. It's quite right distorted. Now, right? yeah. So there's that's, some. That's just nice. Talking. Try that again. Just to play that chord. Yeah. See how yeah. it's alive. Live. I really like it. Yeah, that's very nice. So it has it a little is. bit of, of of the fuzzy kind of at the high gain settings. Normal gain settings. It's just. It's just your clean sound. And I can definitely see the sound blending well in a band, yes. in a band situation where you you want your bass to be like have a bit of drive on it, uh, but you don't want to interfere with the guitar sound of the guitarists perhaps. And they're yeah. they're more like they have squealy stuff all over the place. And they have like all the frequencies. Everything like above three kilohertz and stuff like that. But and uh, and you know you want your bass to be focused and deliver where it's supposed to in the yes. mix. And that, yes. is, that is definitely what uh, this tone print does for you. So I'm calling this, or we're calling this, the Dark Horse. Because it may be the Dark Horse, but I think that it's very usable and it sounds nice. It Try it.